Problem 12, a toy store buys stuffed animals from a manufacturer for $2.40 each. They then sell the stuffed animals for a retail price of $12. What percent increase does this represent? So we're comparing dollars to percent. The original price, the $2.40, is one, the 100% amount. We want to know well, we don't actually want to know what percent $12 represents, but we need to find that amount in order to answer the question. We're really trying to find the, the increase in the percent from 100 to whatever this percent is. But we can solve this uh, first to find that. Uh, 2.4 over 12 is equal to 100 over x. Cross products would be 2.4 multiplied by x, so 2.4x is equal to uh, 12 multiplied by 100. 2 and 4 tenths multiplied by x is equal to 1200. And then we would divide both sides by 2.4 to find 1x, which it is x, that's why we did it. We have to do it to both sides, property of equality. So 1200 divided by 2 and 4 tenths. We don't want our divisor to be a decimal, so we move the decimal 1 to the right. That's multiplying by 10. If I multiply my divisor by 10, I have to also multiply my dividend by 10. So move its decimal 1 to the right and show a 0 in the 1's place. I'll line up a decimal in your quotient. And then we can start to divide. How many 24's are in 1? 0. How many 24's are in 12? 0. How many 24s are in 120? Exactly 5. 5 times 20 is 100, and 5 times 4 is 20. So 5 times 24 is 120. When I subtract, I get a difference of 0, and we just have zeros. So these other place values will have zeros in them, the 10s place and the 1s place. And so x is equal to 500%. But we have to be careful on a problem like this. It's not asking for what percent the $12 is. It's asking for the percent increase. It went from 100 to 500, so that's a percent increase of the difference, which is 400%. Triangle MNR is similar to triangle MBA. This slightly larger triangle and this smaller triangle. Which line segment corresponds to MN? If you understand what we, um, we discussed about the similarity statement, you don't even need the picture for this. MN are the first two letters in the similarity statement. And B are the first two letters for this triangle, so the, the corresponding side here is MB. We can look at the um, we can look at the figure and, and agree with that also. MN is this hypotenuse, so it should be the hypotenuse of the other right triangle, and, and it is MB. Which line segment corresponds to NR? Well, NR are the final the last two letters, so BA. And R is this smallest side of this uh, large triangle. BA is the smallest side of the small triangle. Which line segment corresponds to RM? RM first and last letters. MA first and last letters. MA. RM is this medium sized leg. And MA is the medium sized leg of the other right triangle. If angle B equals 70, let's put that dimension on there. Right away I want to put a dimension here because I know if this is 90 and this is 70, that's 160. I need 20 more to get my 180 degrees in my triangle. And I also notice that these are intersecting lines, so I have vertical angles. So these angles must be congruent, which means this angle must be 110, uh, 180 minus 110, so 70. I mean, we knew that we knew that was 70 anyway because angle B, the middle letter corresponds to angle N, the middle letter, corresponding angles of similar figures are congruent. So if angle B is 70, what's the measure of angle N? It's also 70. So I didn't really need to do all that figuring out of angle M, but I just couldn't help myself. When I see a angle relationship, I'd like to fill in the dimensions. Problem 14, find the unknown length X. This is a indirect measurement problem. You can sort of imagine this looks like a swamp or something. 
And if you knew these other dimensions and you, you, you had similar triangles, you could use these dimensions to figure out the dimension you'd rather not get down and uh, measure directly. So we have an angle here, a vertical angle here and here, which must be congruent. We know the 90 degree angles are congruent. So this uh, third angle of each of these triangles must also be congruent. If all the angles of two triangles are congruent, they're similar triangles. And so the corresponding side would be the smallest side would correspond to this smallest side on this slightly larger triangle. So 64 over 80 is equal to the other leg, the longer leg, 200 over x. 64 and 80 have a common factor of 8. That becomes 8, and this becomes 10. 8 and 10 have a common factor of 2, so that can become 4, and that can become 5. 4 multiplied by 50 is 200. 5 multiplied by 50 will give us the value for x, which is 250. Let's put it on the figure, make sure it looks right. Um, it should be, this, this triangle is larger than this triangle, so the 250 should be more than the 200, and, and it is. This 200 is a little more than 3 times as much as the 64. 250 is a little bit more than 3 times 80. So 3 times 80 is 240. Everything about that, that dimension looks reasonable to me. So the final answer, 250 feet. That concludes page 4. We'll, we'll uh, con continue the review with the next video, page 5.